Today I'd like to tie for you a gray ghost. The hook I have in the vise is a size 1 4 extra long streamer hook. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start out with putting lead wire on it. And I have 20 thousandths lead wire. I'm going to start just at the point of the hook. And I'm going to wrap it up to oh about three quarters of the shank and I want to make a tapered body here so I'm going to wrap it and I'm going to squeeze that one together very much Let me go a couple more forward. Okay, now I'm going to pull this off. Squeeze that together. Fold that last little piece down. Now I'm going to take my thread. I have black thread, and this is 6 aught 70 denier thread. And I'm going to secure this layer of lead down. I'm going to wrap in front, or wrap in back, and then I'm going to take it and wrap it in front. Let me cut that off. And I'm going to move that up and wrap in front. And as I what what I'm doing when I'm wrapping, I'm going to taper it off a bit at the front and the back. And I'm going to bring this thread to the back. And I'm going to hang it off the back there. And I'm going to take another wrap of lead wire. I'm going to add it on to this. You get it. You can't push them together so you have to watch that they're touching. This is going to be a heavy fly. You can make it without using the lead. But if you want to get it down to the bottom, the best way to do it is still using lead or lead free wire. And I'm going to break that off there. And break off that back. Now I'm going to take metallic tape and I'm going to cover this with the metallic tape. This is going to add just a little bit more weight but not as much as if I kept putting the lead wire on. Now I'm going to take that metallic tape I'm going to start right at the bare section of the hook. I'm going to wrap this on up just like you would with any kind of tinsel body and this tape is also going to keep the floss from sinking in to the lead wraps. And I'm going to wrap it back. Just add a little bit more thickness to the center of the body. Who's that? And I'm going to cut that last piece off. Wrap that down with the thread.
especially concentrating on the end, ends of it. So we have that taper. And if there's any high points in your metal tape, you can wrap them down with the thread. Right there I have one. And the first body material we're going to put on, we're going to put on, I have gold and silver tinsel. This is a size 12. And I'm going to want it silver, so I'm going to tie it with the gold side showing. And I'm going to wrap. Wrap it a few times right at the butt. And now I'm going to hold that down, back my thread off, get it back to the tinsel. And I'm going to tie that off right there, and I'm going to use it again later. And now for the tail, I'm going to use a golden pheasant crest. And I'm going to tie it in with the curve pointing up. And I want to get that right on top, so I'm going to just put two loops in it. And then pull it to the size that I want. And then I'm going to secure it tighter. And I'm going to remove that excess leave just a speck more so you get more tie down and I'm going to carry my thread all the way to the front once again and now I'm going to take golden yellow floss and I have it in a bobbin to make wrapping it a lot easier. I'm going to tie it in with the black thread. And now I'm going to put a quick whip finish in there. I'm going to trim that off. The reason I'm using this in the bobbin is because it's going to take a lot of this floss. I'm going to trim off that piece off the front. And then I'm going to wrap to the back and back to the front once again. And you want this floss to be laying flat, so I'm going to twist it clockwise so it will flatten out for me. And I'm going to reattach my black thread. And I'm going to tie this off. I'm going to tie off the yellow floss. And remove that yellow floss. Use my poke and snip. 
Now I'm going to take my silver tinsel and I'm going to continue wrapping. Make sure you wrap tight and make even wraps, even spirals. Look, that one's not that great. Let me back up. Yeah, now I can wrap that. And make the next wrap. And tie that off. And in a couple of seconds, that super glue will dry. If it discolors the floss in any way, it's going to be hidden by the wings. And I'm going to remove the excess floss. And now for the underbelly, I'm going to start with five pieces of peacock hurl and place that arch whoop, like that along the belly. Yeah, we're going to tie them down. And sometimes they don't cooperate but we could fix that and I'm going to remove the excess and secure that now I'm going to take my scissors since they didn't want to cooperate and bend them it's like if you were putting a twist in a ribbon and now I'm going to take white bucktail and I'm going to use a sparse amount of this and you take that bucktail and you want it to be the length of the peacock hurl And you tie that in on the bottom. Take a couple of them little guys out of there. Sparse is the key word when you're attaching that bucktail. Adjust them right to the bottom. Now I can remove the excess. And I'm going to come up from the front. Cut them at an angle. Make sure I cut away everything by the eye. And I'm going to put just a small drop of head cement on there. And now I'm going to use another golden pheasant crest. And I want them to curve just over it. This is a small one or medium sized one. And I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to wrap that down. And now for the underwing, I'm going to use a golden pheasant crest. And we want that to extend to the tips of 
the that peacock hurl. I'm going to take this, I'm going to bend it forward and then lay it back down and remove the excess. And now for the overwing, I'm going to use four gray hackles. So I'm going to take my gray hackles. I have two, and I'm going to tie these in on top, but on the side of the golden pheasant crest. Take the two for the opposite side. And I'm going to remove the excess. and secure them down. Cheek, I'm going to use a pair of guinea bird feathers. The original pattern calls for silver pheasant body. I'm going to turn it sideways so that I can lay it on there properly. Then I'm going to tag that right on the side. Then I'm going to turn it over so I can get this side. This one could come up some more. And I'm going to turn it over. Then I'm going to turn it to I'm going to turn it to this side so I can get that. And pull this one slightly so I can even it out. There we go. Secure them in. Cut off those stems. I'm going to add jungle cock. I'm going to take that jungle cock and lay it right on the shoulder or the cheek and take the one for the other side and tie that in remove the excess Give it a whip finish. Put 
pull that tight. And here we have a gray ghost. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.